Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. I'm really excited to show you the results of that dyeing from yesterday. So these are the two different kinds of the merino that I dyed. Right now they're still wet, so they will fluff up quite a lot as they dry. I did let them dry flat overnight, so they aren't dripping wet. Uh, but then today I hung them up, and it's been working well with these skeins since I have them tied at both ends. So I just drape them over my skein winder like this till they're a little more dry, and then I'll kind of wind them up on here to let them dry the rest of the way. But you can see this one is really b vibrant and bright going from that deep green to the bright yellow. There is some white spots in here, uh, which I don't mind what I'm spinning, but I know maybe it isn't for everyone, but that is just part of this one here. And then over here is this much deeper color with really rich and vibrant purples and pinks. Anyways, I'm letting them dry to see how they look at that point. My Linker Here sweater is soaking. I only got to wear it once, and I don't know about you guys, but I don't usually wash my sweaters after every wear if they're not actually dirty. But basically, right after I put this one on, I got soup spilled down me. Not even soup I was eating, believe it or not. But anyways, it needed a wash. It's been soaking in some mucilin for a while, and I'm going to lay it flat to dry. All right, so it's now the next day, and last night I was able to finish up both of the sleeves on this little sweater. You can see my biggest issue right now is this line where I didn't line the sleeves, and so where it attaches, there is a bit of a ridge. I think it will look less noticeable at the end, but usually my gauge is a little tighter on sleeves anyways. Um, I just have an extra needle. But what we have so far... is this here and I have not knit the ribbing yet. Both the inside and the outside are on holders, but I'm going to take a minute and sew on the flowers. I'm really excited about that. I have a bunch of embroidery thread here. And I'm just going to pick, I want it to look like a classic daisy. So like a yellow and a white is kind of my plan. I also have an assortment of other threads, mostly unlabeled. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to try to do them as randomly as I can. I don't want it to be all over, but at the same time, I want to make sure that, I don't know, I want it to look nice. So I'm gonna spend some time figuring out placement. Also, I wanted to point out, can you see that variation in this yarn? In the skein, it looked just like solid mint, but all knit up, I think it has a really nice subtle variation um, with the mint and lighter shades, but very subtle. So I found just some plain white. It's unlabeled, but it looks just like, you know, a true white and some 445 DMC for the centers. So here we go. I have no problem with words. But I can't control how they hurt I've had a problem with the heat in my heart Some people may So I'm thinking the embroidery floss is not ideal. I just want it large enough that you can really see it. And this is three strands and I'm going over each section twice and it still seems so little. I might try it with yarn um, and see if that makes a difference. So I just grabbed some cone end of this undyed yarn and I think it's going to work a lot better. This is my last round here. I think the biggest issue is gonna be not making too much of a hole in the center. So I'm hoping once the yellow goes in there, it will kind of tie it all together. But I'm gonna go ahead with this. I'm just holding two strands together and just making each kind of petal one loop. So I'm gonna keep going and put these all over the sweater. All right, so I got all the white put on. I think the yarn worked a lot better, and there are some that are a little messy, so I'm hoping with the yellow centers, it will kind of pull it together. 
I mean, they don't need to be perfect. They're supposed to be flowers and they're not all exactly the same, but I want them fairly consistent. Um, I just tried to do them somewhat randomly, but if need be, after I get the centers, I might add in a few, especially on the back here. Um, but for now, this is kind of how it's looking. And I look through and I don't have a lot of plain yellow, but I have this acrylic here that I think will work just fine. I'm just gonna try to do a little center in each of those daisies. This is the first one. I think that's gonna look really cute. Just a few more to go now. So we fall back down. You know that I do. <laughs> so these little flowers are far from perfect, but I think they're really cute and uh, just make something simple, just change the look of it quite a lot. So that is where that is at. Next, I'm going to take my lining and my outside and do like three needle bind off and then knit the ribbing together. So that's next up for this little sweater. But first, you guys wanna go see how those rovings died up. I think they're dry now. I'm gonna braid them and see how they look all together. So why don't you lay me down? Tell me how it hurts and I'll kiss it out. So I think it's so neat to see all the colors together and I haven't really taken any pictures with a group. So all of these braids here are waiting to be labeled and bagged, which I'll probably work on either later today or tomorrow. So for right now I wanted to take some group shots, maybe share some on Instagram, but I just like seeing the colors together in pictures. It really helps to kind of clear things up. Fine, especially for some of the blue shades, it's really hard to get an accurate picture, especially without anything else in the picture to kind of give it um, something in comparison to. It's like the camera can't focus on the right shade. So anyways, I've been working on some pictures of all of them together. I also don't know how well you can see, but these are the Merinos and these are the BFLs and it's just so much fuzzier. Like you can see there's a really fine crimp within the Merino, but there's just this overall, um, yeah, more of a fuzzy look to the BFL. So I am going to sign things off here for today and I do plan to pick this up to show you more of my process and things I'm working on um, another day. So I hope you will come back to watch that, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to see more and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Turn